Hey guys, I've got a verse for you. In Proverbs chapter 1, God gives us this. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now that verse is true for all of us, young people and old folks. It's true for me as I'm headed towards 72. But listen to me very carefully, guys. Don't miss this. The consequences of ignoring this verse are much more serious for you than they are for me. Here's why. You're at an age when you're going to be making lots and lots of decisions about life, about your attitude toward God, about your attitude toward human authorities. And these decisions are going to have a huge impact on the rest of your life. And many, many people your age are totally oblivious to this verse. They're racing madly toward a ruined life. I've seen it happen many times. And I don't want you to be one of them. God's telling us here in this verse that we must not despise wisdom and instruction. We mustn't believe it when the devil or maybe other people, maybe some of your friends, try to make us think that we are smarter than we really are because then we won't feel like we need instruction. Believe me, none of us are really very smart. Take my word for that, guys. Internalize that. We desperately need God's wisdom. We desperately need to realize down in the depths of our being, not just kind of a superficial thing, but realize really deeply that unless we get God's wisdom, we're going to make a huge, tragic mess out of our lives and maybe the lives of others along with us. Are you with me here? Are you, are you there? Is that where you are? Do you realize how weak you are? Do you realize how little you know? <laughs> Do you realize how desperately, desperately you need God's wisdom? Listen, guys, we all desperately need a teachable spirit. Do you have that? Do you have a teachable spirit? Because if you do, then I'm promising you God's got some wonderful things in store for you. So you might wonder, well, how can I get that wisdom? If I really have a teachable spirit and if I really decide I want wisdom from God, how can I get it? Well, let me give you three quick tips. First, learn to study the Bible. Here's a verse. All scripture, all scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. You get wisdom from God's Word. Second, ask a lot of questions of older, wiser people. Older, wiser people will be happy to answer your questions. Please don't be shy. The Bible says where there's no guidance, a people falls. But in abundance of counselors, there's safety. You need a lot of counselors. And third, Ask God for it. Pray for it. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God. He gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. Study the Bible. Get counsel from wise people and pray for it. Listen, guys, if you take me seriously and stay teachable and search for wisdom with all the energy you'd put into it, if somebody told you that there was a million dollars buried somewhere in your backyard, you just have to go find it. <laughs> if you search for wisdom with that kind of energy, I promise you, God's got an awesome future for you. Just keep that teachable spirit and stay in the battle.